Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Jujana. I'm just sitting here in the arcade and this song started playing. I'm going to do Caves of Pooper Loves It All. Let's do that one. Yeah, we're still in the arcade. I love your bum bag, Ellie. What is this? Is this one going to be a waste of my time? I love what you're doing with your hair, Dina. Dinah. I haven't met somebody named Dana in years. I love the silence and the space. Love cows. This is, uh, this is weird. But where the castle of doom, one wrong choice to be back to the start again. Like the other games felt like games, you know, pick the odd one out. This one's not a polygon. It's a circle. What's the odd one out of these? I don't understand what the thing is for this. Okay, I guess that was right. What? How can there be an odd one out? There's two. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Well done. You made all the right choices except that second one where it took you two attempts. But blimey, you are cool and clever. And just as I thought, a dab hand at... The tricky puzzles of the Castle of Doom once more from the heart. Bloody well done. You know, I have been told back and forth different interpretations of how accepted it is to say bloody for emphasis in Europe. Oh, God. Meow, meow. Cities of the Doomed. Okay. Oh, are we being like shelled? That's weird. It's like a reverse space invaders. This, <sighs> yeah, I guess it's kind of interesting to have like a But the city is of the doomed already. Man, after this, I need to play some fucking Doom or something. Like, this game might be controversial. And even if it's not controversial, it's gonna end up, like, really... Like, let's say that this game ends up very well handled, very smartly handled, very intelligent. Uh... Even if that all happens, it's still going to be a heavy, like, oh, just hitting space. Yeah, okay. Okay. What do we have here? A little lady. Many have come before you and have given up before by pressing up the escape E or Z or start on the Y button if they had a gamepad. 
Oh god, jump is up. Like, yeah, I'm gonna need to play, like, Doom after this, because, like, what's ambiguous about Doom? You know what's, you know what's always morally correct? Killing demons. There's no moral ambiguity. There's a bird skull, maybe an owl or perhaps a crow. Gun. So says that sign. Now you can shoot shit, Brave Warrior. Press space or X on the gamepad, Brave Warrior. Is this a Metroidvania? Oh, I didn't read that. But that's on me. That's my fault. I think one of the developers of Doom is... What's he like? I think a... He's like Mormon or Catholic. He's one of the... He's one of the, um... Christian religions that is notorious for getting, like, very easily offended at, sh at shit. You know, moral guardians. And he talks about, like, um... He talks about how people shouldn't be offended at Doom and how, like, as a Catholic or... Shoot while jumping to fall further. Fall further and further and we all die. We shall not escape. Okay. But yeah, he's like... First and foremost, Doom is like a cartoon. So people shouldn't be, like, offended or afraid of it that it's going to corrupt their children, you know? And he's right. Uh, and then he argues that, like, it's not as though you're befriending demons and, and that's ever presented as an option or a good thing to do, you know? Like, you're always killing demons. A consistently morally correct thing to do. What about games where you ally with demons, Al? Well, what if you just killed all the demons in Shin Megami Tensei? You'd solve some of the problems, I'll tell you that for free. So I did a little perusing beforehand, and apparently this is the longest mini game with about an hour of playtime. And so, like, on the one hand, I don't even know if that means I should beat it. Okay, the caves of Aldajil, yes. There's no escape from the caves of Al Masi Ad Dajil. They are wrong. They are wrongy wrong. I know of a door deep in the guts of here. I don't trust a guy who looks like that. He doesn't take good care of himself. Not yet. Maybe there's something I've overlooked. I am historically bad at Metroidvania, as I've talked about it in the past. And I will talk about it again.
I feel like it's so hard to recommend a clay game to somebody. Oh, you can stand on them. That might change things. Well. Dude. You know, having up on a on a D-pad or on arrow keys be jump rarely helps anyone ever. I'll come right out and say it. I think it's just an incorrect way to play. Like, unless this is like a fighting game, but this is not. I'm an expert. I would know. No, please. <laughs> okay. Why is... Never mind, that's not really a relevant question. That was my fault. All right, we're leaving the arcade. I know that apparently there's more game than there is in the rest of the game here, but... Horrible, man. How could he do that to me? Not much of a looker, neither. Five long years, I was his anchor. I was his needle. I was his gal all the way. Told Sal it wasn't working. Sal told me, gone within the week. He'd been meeting with a woman, not that she was more than me, he told me. Different was all. Then we were back. He couldn't quit on me, he said. He's a kind man, kind eyes. The other day, he wouldn't let me hurt a fly. He's a good man. Horrible man, you start this paragraph with. I notice that there's something of a theme of men mistreating women here. This will be the worst film I've ever seen. Can't go in there. Is this going to be another, like, shot of the developer of this game? Tell the story of your life that is most emotionally cathartic. The story you remember is told in the real story. No. Okay. That's not happening. <laughs> no matter how ironic it is, I am not watching a man make a movie about a blow-up doll. It's like an FF9 world map, or a FF6 rather. Sorry, I had my number upside down. Oh God. This is decidedly ungroovy. Okay. 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 We're free. These controls are very, very weird. Okay. Okay, this is just back home. Or at a... Uh, at the mom's house. Well, this is bad. Uh, God. Okay. The generation plant, the village of Beau Sapez, K. 
Caves of Amnir, the militarized zone. So what's the point of getting the mech? 